Yeah, it's the beginning of the chase scene. It starts in the subway and then it cuts off to me. It's hard to get the timing right. It feels like I'm learning something that is actually used in like, the film industry. At the end of the year, I'll take the ACA for Premiere Pro. It'll do pretty well on it. I'm getting the hanging program pretty fast. for your chase sequence. My kids are great, you know, they're, they're really interesting, they're dynamic, but when they first come into the class, their knowledge base is very limited because they are so exposed to social media. I have kids that have YouTube channels, kids that talk about posting on Vine every day. They talk about Instagram like their best friend. You know, so they're exposed to this video, but it's not professional on the technical side as well as on the story side. Let's just extend this out a little bit, right? So With the ACA certification, they're really getting that skill set that they need to actually go into professional industry. And that's being said because of the, they have that ACA certification. I mean, that's like a key piece to that. Save it as a PSD. Yes, guys, you are saving this as a PSD with all its layers. Brooklyn Tech is the largest high school in the country. We're, we're prepping kids for a career 10 years from the time they enter our building. So we're actually trying to project forward what skill set they're gonna need to acquire. And we decided to go with the certification because it validates the work the kids are doing. They walk out with a credential that's recognized by industry. So please, just make sure you've got your projects up. If you see a kid who comes in and they've got the ACA certification and they've got a really, really nice portfolio, you know that this kid knows the creative end of it and you know that they know the technical end of it. Now the last question. Ooh, this was a doozy. I think when you teach the certification, there's a clear and transparent and well-communicated standard that the kids need to reach. And our students have been very successful in reaching that standard. You can still be creative, and it's not so much that you're limited to just simply, okay, well, I have to teach directly to the ACA certification exam. One of the things that I'm able to do is I'm able to look at some of the curriculum, and I make sure that I touch up on some of those features, but I still allow my kids to be very, very creative, so long as I do that. I am uh, a cheerleader to provide to the schools the opportunity to give their teachers as much professional development that they need to get certification. I am very big on making sure that the individuals that are teaching our students are the actual products of the certifications themselves. Okay, but it's going to create a new, what, a new sequence? There you go. I had a kid who went into the medical field and she actually visited me like a year later and she was like, I can't tell you how helpful the certification was to me. Even though I'm not going into film production, she had to edit together a video about heart surgery and she was able to edit together this really awesome piece and she got a great grade on it because of the fact that she had this certification. She had taken Premiere Pro on the high school level. I think it's actually really important to know your technical side so when you're actually in a job, you don't, you don't struggle, you don't lose time because time is money. The ACA proves that you're good at your technical side. I have the Photoshop ACA and I think that can definitely contribute to my future because it, it adds a creative and colorful quality to my resume and my transcript even. I took a test um, in Photoshop last year and it was like awesome and I got certified. Yeah. Okay. And she decided to